Hello my friend, Adam from developphp.com here once again, and in the last jQuery animation lesson, we learned how to program this horizontal animated menu system by using the switch class method of jQuery, and it has nice smooth animated effects. When you go over one, it switches to the second class, and when you remove your mouse, it switches back to the original class, or style. And in this lesson, we're going to demonstrate how to do the same kind of thing, but it's going to be a vertical menu. Instead of horizontal, we're going to have it vertical, like this one. You can see this one has nice, smooth transition effects, animations for rollover and rollout of each button. And we're going to be stemming off of this tutorial. So if you want to understand how we built this from scratch, you can watch this tutorial that I will link to right here. I'm in the same exact code that we left off with in the last lesson. So now I'm going to get in the code view here and change it up to make it a vertical menu system. First thing we do is go down here to this div menu. And we're going to place in a UL tag, which is unordered list. And then right before the first A tag, I'm going to type in LI for a list element tag. And then after the first A tag, let me put a little line there. After the first A tag closes, I'm going to close off that LI element. So you can see my little link is now wrapped in a list element. Now let's go down under all the links and close off this UL element, the unordered list. You have to make sure you close that nested element. It starts here, so it has to close after all of these LI tags. So what we'll do is line separate each one of these links. It's very simple. And we'll make sure the LI closes and opens after each one. That way each one is wrapped in a list element. So we'll take this, control C, control V, control V, control V, control V, control V. Alright, now each one of those links is wrapped in a list element and all of those list elements are wrapped inside of an unordered list. And that is all within our menu div. Now let's manipulate the CSS in this file. The first thing I'll do is change this background color of the whole page. The top banner's background color, I'm going to make that black. And I'm going to leave everything else the same there, that's fine. Now this menu styling, for the menu div, I'm going to remove all of that stuff, because I really don't need it for what I'm doing here. But I will copy that, and if I want to add any styling to that menu div, I could add it there if I need it. So I'll leave that there. What I will do is target the UL element now, that's inside of that menu, the new unordered list right here that we put into that menu div. So I can target that element by doing this. I'm also going to target the li tags within that unordered list. So you can say menu space ul space li and that will help you target and style any list elements that are within this unordered list that's within this menu. And finally in the CSS I'm going to target the menu unordered list list elements, space, A tags. So if I put any code here for styling, it's going to affect the A tags that are within those list elements that are within the unordered list that's in the menu tag. Okay, so for the unordered list, I want this styling. We target the list style property and we give it value of none. Then we target margin and give that a value of zero pixels and the padding, we give that a value of zero as well. That can say zero pixels. Okay, so for the menus unordered list list elements, we want this styling. And that's all we're going to have in there is one property, the height. And we're going to make it 54 pixels. And you can make that whatever you want. That's going to be the height of each list element within that div. And once you change those numbers, and you'll see exactly what it does when you change these numbers. Now we're targeting all of the link elements, the A tags inside of this menu. So what we're going to do is put a couple of lines there, that way we can put a few properties in place. And there they are. These are the properties that we want to affect all of the A tags within all of those little list elements. We want them to be display, block. We want width of 148, and that is how you make them all even. So they won't have uneven widths. They'll be all in a nice little column. The padding, you can set that at whatever you like. And if you rearrange your padding, you're probably going to have to rearrange your height that's for the each list element. But it's very simple to do. The font size, easy to set. 
for each of the links and the font family for each of the links. Now really what we could do is go in here and take out text decoration, control X and put it right here and remove it from the style too as well. Now I'm not going to re-explain anything about the jQuery that I fully explained in the last lesson. I'm not even going to actually discuss the jQuery at all because I don't have to change it at all. It's the same exact jQuery that's running from the first tutorial. We're not going to change it at all for this menu system. We're simply changing the HTML and the CSS properties. So with the border, I'm going to leave these properties here for style 1 and style 2. That way you guys can get creative with your borders and your... The padding really could be up top. Yeah, we don't need the padding because we have the padding up top. So we're not going to adjust that between the animation. Normally you would just adjust the background color and the font color, which the font color is set right there. So there's the font color, the font size. You could also take font size out of each style 1 and style 2 here and just put it up top. And you can see I already have font 16 there, so I can remove this. But if you want to have your font different from one state to the next in the animation, you could leave it down here in these styles. But since I'll, I'll have mine just being one font throughout the animation, one font size, then I don't have to worry about it. I can have it up here because this is affecting all of those link tags. Okay, I adjusted style 1 and style 2 to get the look I wanted. Now let me press F12. There we go, that's a lot smoother. That's what I wanted. 